Hey guys, welcome back to AF Farms for another logging tutorial video. So we just got a short video on how I've been loading logs. Uh, it may give you some assistance if you're having trouble. Just want to explain my method, how I've set things up. So if uh, you want to, you can replicate this in your own farm. So let's start with the storage area. So I've got the base game timber fence set up in a L shape at 90 degree angle, or roughly 90 degrees to house these logs. So these are 12 meter bale lengths cut with the tree harvester so you can use 12 meters 6 meters whatever you want uh, it all depends on what sort of trailer you have and what sort of uh, loader uh, wheel loader or front loader you have to pick up these logs so this is basically scalable depending on what types of tree you're cutting down I've just got a plantation here of lodgepole pines that I let grow to full length when it's grown to full length the 36 meters so I cut three 12 meter uh, sections and that gives me basically equal length not always so you can see there's a couple of shorter ones in there and one longer one so it just is how it sort of rolls out in the end but basically this is just the storage area to help loading the um, truck and trailer so basically what I'll do is I'll quickly demonstrate with the multi-blade and the front loader I've got here so essentially what I do is I cut the logs into the bunker so when they end up in the bunker they're all messy and not square so I use this front load blade to come in and push them into this position here so get them all squared up against the back fence and then what I do as the second step is any logs that are sticking out which there aren't any at the moment because I've already come through and, through and done this is I push them from this end to square them up so they end up being nice and straight this way and nice and stacked up this way so once that's done we can grab our loader so I'll just get through here it's a little bit cramped with all these trees that I've planted okay so let's have a quick talk about the truck. So I've got a modded truck here, but you can use, use any truck that you like. I just use this because it goes really fast and it's got high horsepower. Um, and I plan to use that on a road train uh, in the future. This trailer here is a modded trailer. So it's suited for 12 meter lengths, possibly 15 or a little bit longer. Just depends on what you're cutting. The other good feature about this trailer is it has a dip in the middle, which allows the logs to sit parallel with the bunks. And then you've got a good section to get your fork in and out when you're loading so i'll demonstrate that so this trailer is the lizard logger and you'll find that in the mod hub okay so let's get this into a rough position so what i do is i've got get it sort of centrally in the middle now i've got two bunks i call them bunkers you could call it whatever you want it's just log storage so I've got one here, I've got one over there that's just about empty, and then the one we were just talking about over here. So I've got the trailer in position, so now what we're going to do is we're going to use this lizard log fork. So this is the lizard logistics timber, jaw and log fork, so another mod. So what's good about this fork is it has long tines and a big grab, a grab claw, and it also is, has the ability to pick up a lot of logs at one time so the method for picking these up is just to get the forks on the ground aim for the center of the pile and come in relatively quickly push them up scoop them and then get that grapple closed so we get a good grab and then just lift them up to clear the fence so this one's pretty good generally if you get a few more logs in there they'll be perfectly square and you won't have any logs that are so I'm just gonna drop that down while I turn but effectively really really efficient way of loading the trailer so what I do now is I aim for the center of the trailer make sure I'm nice and square just give it a little bit of a touch to know that we're we're there you drive in Tilt it 
down and you just got to adjust your position as you go here make sure you're clearing all the bunkers let them out slowly just make sure you're not gonna that log should fall in nicely make sure you're clear and we'll grow, go and grab another half load here just top the trailer off so just in terms of efficient efficiency this is what I've sort of come up with so I'm just going to get this log fork in the perfect position so you don't want to go too low because then your wheel loader won't steer so you can see there that's probably pretty good All right, let's aim for the middle again this time I want to go a little bit gentler because I don't want to push these logs out of the bunker so let's see if I can get a good grab there just back that up a touch so I'm going to let one of them go hopefully yep that one there keep holding the grab until we get them nice and square and we've got them so now we're back on out so you've just got to play around with the mechanics of the of the grab when I say the grab the, the log fork same thing aim for the middle of the bunker here okay just get up against it so we know where we are so the Flegel timber runner is the standard in-game trailer however it does not really facilitate loading logs like this because the the bars are too close together so just gently load that out tease it in nicely and then we just got to make sure the claw is going to be clear on the way out so open that fully up and then back of that out and now we're done so that took about seven minutes with explaining <laughs> And we've got probably how many logs have we got there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 16 12 meter lengths. Uh, let's get those tension straps on. So one thing you do need to be wary of is if you've got logs sticking out too far this way, the cab of the vehicle will be interfered with and it won't be able to turn. So let's go and finish this off. We're going to go up to the old sawmill. So we're on Silver Run Forest, but this will apply basically to any map that you're logging on one thing you really need to consider is your speed when you're turning so rule of thumb no faster than 30 40 kilometers an hour when turning and if you need to brake brake while you're uh, straight facing forwards so you don't jackknife and lose your load so that was a little bit too quick there so you can see it's a little bit of it's a little bit of an issue with this trailer in particular so I am on the lookout for a replacement uh, I do have one in mind that is quite stable but it doesn't facilitate the 12 meter bales perfectly it's probably more of a 15 meter log length so I just have to consider whether or not I'm going to switch to 15 meter cuts rather than the 12 but it all depends on the type of tree you've got as well so in a plantation it's easy because all the trees are uniform and exactly the same but if you're out in the forest doing this you may have to do a bit of additional sorting to get the logs in groups of correct length but as you can see making good time up to the sawmill just got to be very careful not to roll it oh, oh, oh. so you can see once it starts to get out of shape a little bit with the wobbles that's when you really got to be careful on your steering inputs and your braking and accelerating so while we're going straight it's perfectly fine so we'll dust off a bit of speed before we hit the bridge another thing you got to watch out for on Silver Run Forest is the train so whenever you're crossing level crossing don't try and beat the train because if you get um, collected this trail is going to go flying so almost at the 
drop-off point. So the drop-off point for Silver Run is just this uh, lake area. Okay, so let's back on in. So what will happen as soon as we hit the water, these logs should start disappearing out the back. Let the tension straps go and you can see see the logs loading up onto the conveyor and they are disappearing out of the trailer. So there you have it, my um, log loading technique for forestry. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you've got any questions in the comments. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next video. Oh, and also check out the description for any of the mods. And if I've missed any mods and you're not sure where to find them, let me know, and I'll send you the link. Alright, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.